great sleep. Hurry up. It's half past seven already. Ah! But... Helen? She just left, but she left you a very nice message in the kitchen. And I guess you read it. What's so funny? Nothing, nothing. In any case, hurry up. You have to go to work soon. Okay, but before that, I want to talk to you for a moment. Listen, do you have paranormal powers? What do you mean? At work, I saw you appearing like I had a vision. <laughs> it's impossible. I know. It's what I think, too. Are you sure you're not falling in love with me? With a robot? I really don't think so. But you... Last night... Did you watch us? And how could I? The closet has no space. I didn't want to risk getting caught, so I didn't try to open the door at all. Not even a little bit to peep. Ah, uh, I see. You look disappointed. Uh, uh, not at all. Uh, I'm relieved. Anyways, Helen really has a wonderful body. Congratulations. Hmm. Thanks. I think she's been lying. I'm sure she looked at us. Now I'll get ready to go to work. Good. But this situation must come to an end. I already explained to you. And I don't want to know anything about you, but... Well done. I'd be sorry if I had to eliminate you. Eliminate me? Oh, yes. No. You'd never do that. You think? I'm going to work now. Here I am, back in my office. Let's begin the usual startup procedures. Hmm, strange. Tom is not at work today. I don't see his username logged in. I hope nothing's happened to him. Now that I think about it, I could even do some research on robot models here at Nanotech. I have access to the whole database, even if I don't know what interesting things I may find about Tanya. But, that talk this morning, would she actually be capable of breaking one of the three laws of robotics? Would she be capable of killing a human being? I don't know why, but I think she can. Hi. Hey, Tom. Everything all right? Sorry if I called you at home. I don't feel well today. I'm sorry. Do you think you can work from home? Yes. I'll try to do something as usual. Perfect. Uh, Tom? What's up? Is everything all right? In what sense? In general. You seem to be a bit down. Nah. It's just an impression given by the video phone. Actually... I'm disappointed because I won't be able to come with you to the park at lunch break. Looking at those sexy athletes jogging. Don't worry. I'll go instead of you. Bye. Uh, it's not funny. I have to say bye now. Try to get better quickly. Bye. Another boring working day. Damn it. Time never passes today. There I go. For the moment, I finished. It's lunch break time. I can stay here in the office or go somewhere else. But I only have one hour. Who knows if Helen is even jogging today? We didn't set up an appointment, but she said she usually comes here. Ah, there she is. Helen! Uh, you're here. Were you looking for me? Let's just say I was hoping to meet you. She jumps on me and puts her arms around my neck. What's up? Nothing. I just wanted to see you. Why? Ah, uh, I thought you had something to tell me. If you're referring to our recent discussions about getting married or living together, I changed my mind. What do you mean? After what happened last night. I mean, everything is so good now. I'm scared of changing things. We might change them for the worse. But... Please, try to understand me. I want us to continue meeting as we always do, but I don't want to put any pressure on you. Wow, that was exactly what I wanted. If we meet only once in a while, it'll be easier to solve Tanya's problem. Okay, I understand. You're right, after all. 
I'm so happy you understand. She starts kissing me all over my face. Come on, stop it! Ah, love. Eh? A policewoman? What do you want? I am very sorry for interrupting you, but I'd like to see your ID. Every regular citizen has an ID containing all possible information. Health, work, marital status, anything. Obviously, only authorities have free access to this information. Here you are. And yours, miss? Helen. My name is Helen. I... I'm really sorry. I forgot it at the shop. Hmm. Following regulations. I should find you, miss. However, I know which shop you work at. Your face is not new to me. It's a nice shop with many interesting dresses. Oh, follow me then. I was about to go back there. You'll be able to check my ID card and try on any dress you may like. That sounds like a great idea. Let's go. Bye, Helen. Bye, love. Well, all I can do now is go back to the office. I go back to my office, and I finish my working day. Now that I'm finished, it would be a good idea if I'm the one that goes to see Helen, so that she stays away from my home and from Tanya. I arrive in front of the building where Helen lives. I try ringing the video phone. Helen? Helen, are you home? Who is... Uh, it's you! I just came back from the shop. That Tina is really great. Ah, uh, the policewoman? Everything all right, I hope? Yes, yeah, sure. We even may become friends. <laughs> well, she may prove useful. Come up so I can tell you. Helen's flat is really small, but it has a lovely bedroom. She loves staying in there and talking. Hi, listen. It's incredible how fast she manages to talk. I'm practically dizzy after half an hour of talk. And so I finally came back home. Well, luckily. Actually, I mean, luckily she stopped talking. Better if you go back home now. Uh, what time is it? It's already nearly ten in the evening. Unless you want to stay here for the night. Uh, unfortunately, I have to pass by my home. I left some documents there. I see. It's okay. We'll do it another time. It's better I go. I'm very tired. See you tomorrow. Yes, sure. Same to you. Love you. Where have you been? Why? It's very late. I thought something had happened to you. You were waiting for me. So, you were worried about me? No. Are you sure? Well, okay. A bit. But only because you're my cover. Yeah, sure. You know, I have a question going through my head since yesterday, but I didn't have the time to ask you. Then that is? Yesterday when I came, you were taking a shower. Why? Why not? But you are a robot. Or something like that. What sense is it for you to take a shower? I feel the same pleasure as humans. And I get dirty like humans, you know? I don't like feeling dirty. Uh, I understand. Forgive me if I insist, but why are you wanted by the police? I already told you that I don't want to talk about it. But what is your plan? You can't stay here forever. It's better if you don't know. Trust me. It's late. Go to bed. Okay, then. Good night. Good night, Luke. It's strange. I got the sensation that she wants to tell me something. Like back in high school, when I used to go out with a girl and we were alone, there was a moment of silence. During those seconds, the strangest ideas passed through my head. <laughs> Tanya's soft lips touched mine for a few seconds. She... She kissed me? Forgive me. I don't know why I did it. In any case, it wasn't bad at all. For a robot. Stop it. Just in case you would like to... train. I am in the bedroom. No, I don't think so. That will do for today. As you wish. See you tomorrow, then.
See you. It's absurd. Kissed by some kind of robot? Better not putting absurd ideas in my head. She's just a robot after all. And Helen is a real person. A human being. With all the good and bad sides. Uh, better sleep now. I'm so tired. <sighs> uh, what was that? What's the matter? Maybe it's better to go and check. Now I understand what this noise is. Tanya is crying in the bathroom. She really seems desperate. I try entering, but she locked herself in. Tanya, open! What's up? Go away. Tanya, open the door! I beg you! Why are you crying? Go back to bed. I just want to help you! Believe me! Thanks, but... You can't. Nothing to do. What is wrong with her? I hear something like a whisper. As if she's talking to herself. I lay my ear on the bathroom's door in order to hear better. I can't do that. He's a good guy. Uh-oh. I think I should start worrying. Nothing to do. She doesn't answer and she locked herself in. What the hell can I do? Maybe it would be better if I went back to Helen. But what could I tell her? It's midnight already now. While I'm thinking, I hear the noise of the door opening. I beg you, help me. Tanya, what's wrong? I don't want to do that. What? I don't want to hide here forever. But you want to go away from here? I don't know. Stay here. Please. Why do you want me to stay now? Because you seem desperate. I'd feel guilty sending you away. And I believe you have good intentions and that you'd never hurt me. Thank you. But I'd like to know something. I think I have the right to. Among the thousands of flats in the city, why did you come to hide right here? Because you work for Nanotech. Hmm, yes, I think I told you. So what? I need your help. I was created in one of Nanotech's secret labs. I managed to escape, but I'm not sure what I am exactly. What? Exactly that. It's not by chance that I'm here. But what do you want from me? What should I do exactly? I want to know who I am. Uh, I'm not sure I understand. Listen, I don't know how to explain it. I have blurred memories, but they don't belong to the world's recent history. What does it mean? I remember the sea. The green fields. I remember the seasons. I don't remember the rain. I was not born in this century. But it's impossible! I know. And I'm going crazy over this. Okay, let's go to sleep now. Tomorrow we'll think about what to do, okay? I... May I sleep with you? Oops. What do I do now? Uh, okay. Don't worry. I won't do anything to you. Okay. She won't do anything to me? What a pity. I go in the bedroom while she dresses again. Then, suddenly, she appears in front of me. How do I look? Wow! Uh, very well, I'd say. Sorry for borrowing one of Helen's dresses. It's incredible! They fit you perfectly! Yes, obviously. I can stretch my muscles and my skin the way I prefer, so I adapted myself to her shape. So what I have in front of me is Helen's body with Tanya's face? Absurd! But I have to admit, it fits her better. Uh, what am I saying? Am I crazy? I decide to switch the light off before other strange ideas come to my mind. I'm not sure I'll be able to sleep peacefully tonight. <sighs> Luckily, I managed to sleep for a few hours at least. Uh, who can be here at this time?
I dress up quickly and I run to see who it is. Luke, what the hell are you still doing at home? But what time? Damn it, it's 11. And you didn't reply to any call. I ran here because I thought something happened to you and... Who is she? Uh-oh. Tanya. She's wearing another of Helen's outfits, but it's a jogging suit. Hi, you must be Tom, right? Oh yes, pleased to meet you. But who are you? My name is Tanya, and I'm Luke's cousin. Cousin? Hey Luke, you didn't tell me that such a hottie was. Oops, uh, I mean that you had such a beautiful cousin. I never told you for very obvious reasons. I didn't want you to bother her like you usually do. Bother? Not at all. It's just... I am astonished by such a beauty. Thanks, Tom. Okay, I think now it's time to go back to the office. Right, Tom? I'll go jogging in the park. Huh? At the park? The one near here? Yes. Can't you see how I am dressed? Ah, uh, isn't the park where he- Before Tom was able to finish the sentence, I close his mouth and push him out of the flat. Better if Tanya doesn't know that Helen goes there, too. Ha 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 Luke! What's up? That is not your cousin, right? But why are you here? Did they give you a special permit? No, I simply had my lunch break earlier. I was hungry. You know how it is. Now don't pretend you didn't hear my previous question. That is what the famous Tanya looks like. The one you even called in your sleep. I can understand you well, indeed. Damn it. I really hope she and Helen will not meet at the park. Sorry, but... They don't know each other, do they? I think Tanya knows about Helen. Tell me something more about it. How long have you known her? It's a complicated story. I'll tell you while we head to the office. I don't want to be even more late. Okay, come on, tell me! I briefly tell him what happened, neglecting the fact that she comes from the nanotech labs. Tom is the last person to whom I'd tell such a secret, since it concerns his work, too. And that's the end of the story. Damn it. What a mess. Well, if you want, Tanya can come stay at my place. It wouldn't be a problem for me to... No. <laughs> She's just a robot. Well, I mean... Exactly. And I'm not even sure she's totally harmless. I'd be sorry if you got killed. Come on, such a beautiful creature. I assure you that if you saw her when she entered my home, you wouldn't think this way. Oh. Okay, I trust you. Be careful. Don't say a word until I find out something more, okay? Sure. This time, I'll be very careful. And so we arrive at the office. Why does Tanya want to go out now? Before, she was so concerned about hiding, and now she suddenly wants to go jogging at the virtual park? Doesn't make any sense, unless her true intentions are different. But what can they be? I want to call Helen. I don't know why, but I believe Tanya is... jealous of her, even if it seems impossible. I'd hate it if something happened to her. After all, Tanya's not as harmless as she appears to be. Luke? Hi, Helen. What a nice surprise. You never call me from the office. Yes, it's true. Did you need anything? No, I just wanted to see how it was going. Well, I've already had many customers today. Great. Are you going to the park today? I don't know. I have to see how work is going. Okay. If you have the time, please come. Don't spend too much time working. I'll do what I can. I'm not sure it's a good idea going to the park, since Tanya's there. Or maybe I should go there exactly for that reason. Another boring working day. Damn it. Time never passes today. There I go. For the moment, I've finished. It's lunch break time. I can stay here in the office or go somewhere else. But I only have one hour. I enter Kensington Gardens' virtual dome full of doubts. For sure, Helen is there waiting for me. But will Tanya be there as well? I hope she changed her mind, or that she finished jogging and that she already returned to my place. Hi, Luke. 
Ooh, uh, uh, hi, Tanya. But isn't it risky? You're wanted, you know. Yes, but they don't have my identikit. And their scanners don't work with me. It's enough that I'm careful. They'll never find me among all these people. It's possible, but I believe you're lying. Okay then. Yes, it is risky. Even if I have uncommon capabilities, being wanted by all of London's police is no small issue. But I absolutely wanted to see this place. It's wonderful here, just like in my memories. In your memories? I told you already, didn't I? I remember a different Earth. Probably how it was before the climate catastrophe. Hmm, that's strange, though. How can you remember? Luke! And now? Oh, no. Who is she? Uh, she... I'm Tanya. His cousin. Has he ever talked to you about me? No! But I know he has no cousin! The situation is getting bad. Okay, then. Sorry if I lied to you. Believe me, we're just friends. We met here by chance. Sure, Luke told me you're a very jealous girl, but I didn't think to this extent. Ah, uh, really? Then he must have also told you that I'm a kung fu black belt! Look, Helen, it's not the time. You shut up! We will discuss this later! I understand. I'll leave you alone. Good idea! <sighs> Luckily, Tiny decided to leave. I'd hate to hurt you. Luke loves you so much. Hurt me? You ugly. As I feared, Helen tries to trip Tanya, who avoids her foot with a very fast jumping move, and she positions herself behind Helen. From that position, Tanya blocks her, twisting her arm behind her back. It's not polite tripping people running. Ah! My arm! You're hurting me! Tanya! I beg you! It's a strange sight. Tanya, holding Helen, lays her head next to hers from behind, and whispers the following words in her ear. I don't want to hurt you, but you have to be kinder to me, darling. It would be a pity ruining a nice body like yours. I... I don't know why, but I'm getting aroused. Then, don't you want to apologize to me? I... You're hurting me! Now... Isn't there something you want to tell me? Sorry! Forgive me! Luckily, Helen's pride doesn't go as far as letting someone rip her arm off. Tanya lets her go. You're a bitch! Hey, watch your manners. Damn it! Stop that, you two! Helen! What was that all about? I... Tanya and me met here by chance. What are you thinking? You're lying. No. Moreover, we were just talking. I don't think we were doing anything that justifies your reaction, were we? So what? Sorry, am I not allowed to have female friends? You have many male friends. What's the connection? How dare you ask that? If I see you talking to a man I don't know in the park, should I punch him right away? You're ridiculous when you have those absurd outbursts of jealousy, let me tell you. She goes away, typical of Helen, when she doesn't know what to reply. I beg you to forgive me. Yeah, whatever. Now I have to go back to my office. As I turn around to go away, I feel Tanya's hand holding mine, stopping me. Luke, I'm really sorry. If you had told me she would be here, I wouldn't have come. Never mind. It wasn't your fault at all. Even if, you should control your strength. I know. It's not easy, believe me. But what will you do with Helen now? She'll probably come to my place tonight. Honestly, I don't know what to do. Maybe I have an idea. See you at your place. Saying that, she runs away. I wonder, what does she have in mind now? Seeing what time it is, I decide to return to the office. I finish my regular working shift with a thousand thoughts in my head, as usual. Tonight, Helen will drop by my place, for sure, to ask for an explanation, and she doesn't know Tanya's there. What the fuck can I do?
Uh, Helen? Already here? The only thing preventing me from killing you is that I'm afraid of... her. Huh? Afraid of who? What are you talking about? She's talking about me, honey. You bitch! What did you just call him? I beg you, if this is a nightmare, please wake me up! Now listen to me carefully, Helen. I am not a human being. Yes, in fact, you're an idiot! Very funny. As I was saying, I am some kind of robot. But... what? Tanya lifts her t-shirt, showing her navel. So what? My stomach is flat too! Wanna see? Look inside the navel. But... what is that? Uh, what's so strange? It seems normal to me. Don't ever look, you! Please, Helen, I beg you. Okay then, but just look at the navel. If that's the point, he already saw me naked. What?! We didn't do anything! Well, and then can't you see? Damn, she has some kind of microchip in her navel? Yes, it's strange. What kind of trick is that? No trick, I told you. If you don't trust me, you can rip a piece of my face off, so you can see what's below it. Ripping a part of your face off? Hmm, it's not a bad idea. Helen, trust me. I saw her already in that condition, and it's not a pleasant sight. Fine then. Okay. You're a robot. But what the fuck are you doing here at my boyfriend's place? And above all, couldn't you have been a male? After saying that sentence, the three of us keep quiet for a few seconds. Then we start laughing. But I'm sure that Helen is angry as hell. In fact, after a few seconds, she gets serious again and asks, All right. Seriously speaking, I want explanations, and they better be good. I... I'll leave that decision to Luke, but... The best thing is that you don't know more. What? So I should be happy knowing that... Such a hottie stays at my boyfriend's place all day long? Hey, thanks. You complimented me. Now that I think about it, that jogging outfit you wore today is mine. You thief! Helen, shut up. And you, Luke? Luke, what did you decide? I'm risking a lot exposing myself like this. You know this, right? Damn it, what do I do now? Helen will want to know everything for sure. And if I don't tell her, she's gonna torment me every time we meet. It may even be the end of our relationship. And honestly, she wouldn't be to blame at all. On the other hand, Tanya seems to be risking everything in this moment. She's revealing her true identity to Helen. But why does she do that? If she wanted, she could kill both of us. Tanya, I trust Helen. If you trust me, you have to trust her too. Tanya doesn't answer, but she nods her head. Nonetheless, she doesn't appear convinced by my decision. I tell Helen the whole story. Obviously, she's rather surprised. I understand, but what is going to happen now? Tanya looks in my eyes. Maybe she would like to tell me something, maybe in private with me alone? I need your help to locate Nanotech's secret laboratory. S secret laboratory? Yes, I remember a laboratory. Then they moved me somewhere else when I started to live again. I think the safest place for them to hide the laboratory is in the Nanotech Headquarters basement. Well, why do you need Luke's help? Do it on your own! I... maybe... I can't. They're looking for me, so I can't just run there without knowing first where the laboratory is located. They are at maximum alert right now. Right. Damn, what a crazy situation! Dear Helen... You know that you're being watched. <laughs> Luke, Tom, and you. They've been watching you for quite some time. Watched? What do you mean? Be more clear. Richard is a bastard. He owns half of London, but he wants even more. 
I am not sure what his real plans are. But I'm sure he has a task force of private eyes and robot guards watching his top employees. But Tom isn't. No, but he is your best friend. Ah, true. And Helen. Helen is your. I am his partner. Yes, and you need to remember it as well. Hmm. I see. But why would they need to spy on us? Probably they think that since I escaped, I would try to get in touch with one of their top employees to discover more about myself. And that's exactly what you did, idiot. You could have been more careful. There are many good employees besides Luke, and I was careful. They never noticed me come to his house. Yeah, I didn't even notice you myself. Wait a moment. A few days ago, when I went to Luke's house. You were here already, Helen. That's not the. Yes, I was here, but I was hidden. And you watched us when we. The two remained silent for a while. Helen is embarrassed, but Tanya as well. I I don't know what to say, but I think we have more urgent matters to take care of right now.